Well, I've shown you a lot about QED Wiki and Mashup Hub. Let me show you the most recent element of Info 2.0, Damia. So this is Damia. I got to this the exact same way that I got to QED Wiki and to Mashup Hub. I went out to AlphaWorks, I selected Try It, and this is the page that it launches me off into. First thing I want to point out is Damia actually has a meaning, Data Mashup Fabric for Internet Applications. I want to point out at this, at this juncture, this is really important to me, data mashup. I consider a mashup to be the thing that an end user sees. Data mashup is a little bit different, so I don't want to confuse that. As I go along, I may call them mashups, but this is really a data mashup. The first thing you'll see on this screen is I can look at the most popular data mashups. I can look at the most recently added data mashups, and these are links here to those mashups. I can go over here and I can look at a tag cloud that shows me the most popular tags associated with these data mashups. I can create a mashup. I can view examples of mashups. What I want to do here though is I'm going to browse mashups. And by the way, I'm going to walk you through the steps that I recommend for you to get started if you want to try Damia. Here I can filter my search by name, description, tag, who created the mashup. I can look at all mashups. I can search just my mashups. In this case, I'm going to leave the search field empty. I just want to search and find all of the mashups, the data mashups that are out there. These are all of those that are out on my Damia server now. I can look at the feed name, who created it, the description, the date that it was created. I can sort the fields based on that. If you look down this list, right down here, here's one called insurance example. I recommend this as a great one to get started with, and I'll show you why as we go along. I'm going to click on Insurance Example. I can show details for this. I can edit this. In this case, I'm going to select Show Details, and I launch a separate tab over here in Firefox, and here's the detailed information about this data mashup. It's an insurance example. This finds weather alerts for insurance policyholders in an Excel spreadsheet. I can rate this by giving it a star value. The tags here are tags based on what does this data mashup use? A URL operator, filter, transform, merge, etc. Down on the bottom is a description. This says the URL that's actually the output of this data mashup. And here, if I hover over the thumbnail, you'll see it says click here to edit this mashup. And that's what I'm going to do. I click. Now I get launched over into Damia's canvas. And this is where we actually create and edit different data mashups. Before I go into this though, my recommendation, upper right hand corner, click, there's a drop down menu, go to help, right click, and open this in a new tab. And the reason I like to do this is I can switch back and forth between the mashup I'm working on and help information that guides me along the way. First thing you'll see here is what is Damia? You can aggregate and transform a wide variety of data, content feeds. I can import XML, Atom, and RSS feeds. I can get information from the web, Excel spreadsheets, and very importantly, database support coming soon. Once again, a recommendation. Go over and look at examples. Here, if you want to learn about, let's say, using the Excel spreadsheet, there are three different samples there that use that. If you want to learn about merging, there's the insurance example that we just opened in the other tab. So I click on this and now I get step-by-step -step information on how I could go off and create that exact same data mashup myself. And it's not a very long page, so you could quickly go through and create a similar, in fact, exact same data mashup. I like to go from here, work on the canvas, over to here, look at the help information. Over here, when I look at the canvas, first thing I want to point out here is that if I clicked on, let's say, this sort operator, this is context-sensitive help. So now I see the same information here, essentially, as I did on the help page. If I select a publish operator, here's information on how to use that operator and information about all of the parameters in this field here. What does this mashup do? Well, it mentioned it's an insurance mashup. Imagine that you're an insurance agent and you want to know when any severe weather hits around your customers' locations, your policyholders. 
to start that. I need an Excel spreadsheet, or I happen to have an Excel spreadsheet, that contains my customer information. Down here, I can actually upload that. When I upload the file to the Damia server, there's the path to the file. I select here the range of cells that I want to look at in the spreadsheet. Then I output that spreadsheet over into a filter. I just want to filter for a condition where state equals Texas. So I only want to know about my customers in Texas. Here, I want to go out, in this case, to the weather service. This is weather.gov for alerts for Texas. It's an RSS feed. I want to grab the RSS feed and then transform it. This gets pretty geeky, but it shows you the power of Damia. I'm going to unplug from this transform here. Go up and select the Operators tab, and I'm going to add my own transform. Now you'll notice you could add a merge, filter, sort, a lot of different choices. I'm going to select a transform, drag it, drop it onto my canvas, and now down here you'll notice there are no inputs to this transform. That's quite obvious here. And the output in this case is simply an XML namespace, which means essentially there is no output. I'm going to take this, move it over here. As I said, there's no input. I'm going to grab that RSS feed. And by the way, this is all live. Plug that in. And now Damia just went out to that RSS feed, got me the information from there. And I'll notice that there are three different XML elements. This is, uh, let's see here, there's a flood warning in Calhoun, Texas in the title. There is uh, the link where the information is coming from in the link element. And here's a description that says that there is a flood issue, flood statement has been issued for that city. I want to output from my transform. Well, actually, I want all three of those elements. So I'll grab the title element, drag it, and drop it to the output. I'll pass that through. I'll grab the link element drop it in the output. I have the description element. I want to put that over into the output. So now all I'm really doing, I'm not transforming anything. I'm just taking these three elements and passing them out. Here's where the transformation comes in. I right click. I want to create a new element on the output. In this case, I'm going to call it city. Once again, if I could spell well. In my city element, remember when we were over here, the title field said Calhoun, Texas. Well, the city is in the title field. I'm going to grab that title field, put it underneath here, and I just put it underneath that element. Now, I right click, I add an expression. I would put the expression here in a PHP syntax, which I'm not getting into in this demonstration. And essentially, I have, not essentially, what I have done is I just took an RSS input, XML, three elements, and I'm outputting it as four elements because I want to separate city. Let me get rid of this, put it back into the original transform, right click, delete that one off my desktop. And the reason I wanted to transform it as city is because here I'm outputting the cities in Texas. Here I'm outputting the cities in Texas and I merge them. Once I merge based on city, then I sort, sort by city, in ascending order. I could select descending order as well. And then I publish. I can publish as an RSS feed, as an Atom feed, or as an XML feed. I took my Excel spreadsheet. I grabbed my customers in Texas. I went to the weather service. I got a transformation so I could look at the cities in Texas where there's severe weather conditions. I merged them together and then I sorted them and published them. So now I get an alert every time one of my customers may be experiencing severe weather. As I said, this is a little geeky, but consider you have one level of IT skill creating this. They output the information that they can gather from all over the place and change and sort and merge. When they output it, it's a simple RSS feed or an Atom feed or XML. Now I can consume it into a widget, just like we did with Mashup Hub, just like we did with QED Wiki. So a person with lesser skills, line of business user, etc., can use the output of this very easily, stick it up on Mashup Hub, we can reuse it, and put it on a mashup where I really see the, the impact and the value of all of this.